Now, that's some holding power. Look how stuck that thing is. It ain't going anywhere. Hey, thanks for checking out the Hinkle Shop. We sure hope you enjoy this video. We want to thank you for watching. We hope you find some value in this video, maybe learn something, and maybe have some laughs along the way. Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. I'm going to take this plain old ordinary white plastic cutting board that you can get from the old jungle store and I'm going to turn it into an incredibly useful tool for your CNC. Stick with me, let's get started. Okay, so in a video a while back, I made this thing and I'm hoping you can see it, I'm hoping it's in focus. What this was, was a vacuum table attachment for the CNC that I could set down on the CNC and hook up my shop back to and draw a vacuum to pull down my projects on the CNC and hold them in place. We're going to do something one step better than this this time. Since I've made this, I've learned that you can buy commercially made what they call pucks. And they are six inch square uh, pieces of plastic that have a o-ring in them or a gasket that's got a vacuum hook to them so you can pull a vacuum on a six inch square puck. That's great, but what happens when I want to do a cutting board or say a chess board? Too small, so I'm going to make my own. Again, back to this guy, we're going to make one that's almost 12 inches square. It's going to remain square, but the inside is going to be a round oval o-ring. So that's the premise of this video. Let's see if I can pull it off. First step is going to be to take this end mill out of here and swap it out for a ball nose. We're going to use the ball nose to create the groove for the o-ring. The next thing is attaching this to the table. And to do that, I'm going to use double-sided tape. As I said before, I'm not a big fan of two-sided tape, but I need access to the entire surface. Because we're going to machine down the outside corners to make a position or a spot for hold downs for the actual vacuum. I'm going to stop calling this thing a puck because that sounds too close to another word that starts with an F. Let's think of something else. Hold down vac something? I don't know. Maybe you can come up with a name in the comments that sounds better than puck. Let's stick it down and see what we can do. We're going to zero off the corner with the touch block. So let's bring the guy over here and do that. All right, next step is to load the program and rock and roll. We're gonna start with the groove, obviously. I'm sure she's still down. like that one groove done I'll get the vacuum out and suck up all this nonsense next step we're going to change out that ball nose to a cadence manufacturing O flute the O Jenny and we're going to hog away some material in the center of this and we're going to cut away some material on the outside of it we're going to cut a notch in here somewhere to have our vacuum port attachment we're going to lower the sides a little bit and we're going to rock and roll. The chips that are produced by this stuff when you're cutting is tremendous. So I am going to use the dust boot here and it's also statically charged so it sticks to everything. So let's put the hose on, turn the vacuum on, and then we can rock and roll. I always forget to mention that we do have a website here at the Hinkle Shop. Search hinkleshop.com and it'll take you there. We're considering starting to sell digital files on that website. Let me know if you have any interest in purchasing this file for this actual project here in the comments below. Also, if you think we earned it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, there's the airport slot. Airport? Well, the port for the air to be connected to, the slot where the air is going to be pulled out of. Alright, let's move on to the next one. And i got to tell you, that Cadence Manufacturing O-Flute bit is incredible. It didn't even 
it just was so smooth cutting through that. I can't say enough. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, there's the recess, the O-ring, and the channel for the air to get into, or the air to remove, be removed from. Now what I'm going to do is lower these corners so that I can drill holes in each corner and uh, use hold downs for each of these slots right here. Or a screw hole where I can just screw it to the bed so it don't move. But let's continue. Alright, next step. These have been lowered. Next step is to drill through here into there on an angle to create the airport to put the fitting in there. Again with the airport. There's no planes right, here. So to drill this hole we had to get a little creative as you can see. We're locking it to the bench. We're using a Miles Craft drill block, not sponsored, and a little bit longer than normal drill bit to make sure we don't poke up through the side. Ta-da! And once you get the hole the right size, the fitting will cut its own threads. Just gently screwing it in. That's what she said. Okay, we're all set up on the bench here. I got the holes drilled in it. It's fastened down. It ain't going to move. I don't have a, a panel glued up, so we're going to try it with this one. Let's pretend it's the first time I've done this, and I didn't want to look foolish. So let's just pretend it's the first time. And you've got to hold it there for a little bit until the vacuum sucks out all the air. And then if you watch the center, the center will go down, and then I will show you how strong this hold is. Let's turn on the pump and see what it does. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Bingo, bango, bongo. To get it off the table. So I was able to find a piece of MDF and it's not moving. That thing's on there like it's glued to the table. If you're looking closely, you can see me shaking the whole bench trying to get that to move. And to get it off, release the nut, and away it goes. I cut down the MDF, and it's stuck to the table. And not having one of these before, I wondered if the board was flat or was it going to suck in in the middle. And running that ruler across there, I can tell you that it's flat enough to surface plane or surface a cutting board or a chess board for sure. So I won't need to put anything in the center. It won't pull down there. Good to go. All right, I call that a win. Now, am I going to be making V-carb inlays on this thing? Absolutely not. It's not solid enough. But flattening cutting boards, flattening chess boards, flattening any kind of board, that will work just fine as long as it's bigger than the diameter of that circle. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Give it a shot. Make yourself one of these things. I think you'll be happy with it. As always, give us a like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.